an Irish army patrol arrives at the border with the north. The Republic's army has carried out over 1,500 such patrols this year. And mobile security groups like this one from 27 Infantry Battalion on the east of the border are ready to respond round the clock. The Irish army deeply resents the suggestion that the terrorists can always escape easily into the south. The vast majority, they point out, live and operate within the north. Nevertheless, they do admit, as the British Army would, that maintaining 100% security along a largely unmarked 300-mile-long border is simply impossible. This is one of 74 border crossings in 27 battalions area. The border's about 10 yards up the road. It's unmarked. On the other side starts the so-called bandit country of South Armagh. One of the army and police's major jobs is setting up checkpoints, over 2,400 so far this year, along the little roads leading to the border. If the British Army are chasing terrorists towards the border, they must tell the RUC, who tell the Garda, who tell the Irish Army. There's no direct contact between the two armies, though the Irish say that doesn't cause delays. The Irish Army can move much more freely than the British. They've lost only one man since the current troubles started. Tomorrow in Dublin, the Irish cabinet will discuss the recent violence in the north. Irish government ministers do want early reassurance that the shooting of the three IRA men does not mean the British government is now concentrating exclusively on a military solution to the problems of the north. David Rose, News at 10, Dublin.